Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, July 14th. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Quick note before we jump into the alerts from the week, I uh, wanted to let everybody know that our newest course, Winning Options Strategies for Any Market, it's, it's all about directional trading. It is now available. So if you purchase it, it'll, be, it'll pop up right here in your personal member's homepage. To, uh, to get to that, simply go to Premium Upgrades, scroll down to Winning Option Strategies for Any Market, and that's where you can enroll in the course. And for alert subscribers, I, I wanna give you a quick uh, coupon code that you can use to get a discount on the course. So it is, it's priced at $199. But when you click the Get Instant Access, which brings up the order form, if you scroll down to the bottom and enter the promo code COURSE50, it's gonna drop that price down to $99. The other thing that I'm giving away with this course that's not available anywhere else yet, it's not even, it's not even out yet, is our newest book called The uh, Trade Hackers Playbook. And it, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I can't show it to you yet because it's not quite through editing, but it should be done next week. And so if you order this course here for 99 bucks here on the website only, you'll get a free copy of the Trade Hackers Playbook. And it's gonna, it's gonna go on the site for, for $99 itself. So that's gonna be the price. So if you buy this course, I'm gonna throw that in for free. So if you're interested, check that out. Let's jump into the trade alerts for the week. And let's scroll down and start with the, the first trade of the week that we made, which was in XLE. So this was an opening trade. We were just selling some short puts, getting some long delta. IV percentile was, was at 63. Uh, it was a bullish directional assumption on that trade. And if we take a look at XLE, Take a look at the chart here. So we put this trade on right down here and it made a nice move up for us and implied volatility contracted. So we, we booked that uh, trade for a nice profit in just a few days. Um, and so let's see, let's go on to the next trade. Uh, this was a closing adjusting trade in soybeans. So we closed the put side, uh, price moved up and breached our break even. So we closed out our untested side, which in this case was the put side. In a, uh, in a later trade, I'll show you that we uh, price came back and we ended up closing the other side and, and made a, a profit on that trade in total. So that was a good trade overall. And then simultaneously, right after that, we send out another alert opening up a new iron condor in soybeans, which if we go to the platform and take a look, at that one, and man, these grains have been moving around, haven't they? So, creating opportunity for us. So, here is the full iron condor that we have on. Price is right here, hanging out near our, our downside, but well within our range, just looking for a little bit of a move up in soybeans to benefit there. Next trade was in RUT. So we closed out our uh, calendar spread in RUT. Uh, for around 20% profit. So that was a good trade. Next trade was an opening trade where we sold a strangle in oil. So Ivy popped its head back up to that 50 level. So we sold a strangle. So if we take a look at oil, still very well within our range. I uh, need a little bit of a move down to benefit and a little bit more contraction in IV uh, to book a profit in that oil trade. Next trade was in RUT, so that's the one um, where we opened a new rut calendar. And so that's still pretty centered, no profit or loss there. Still waiting for some, uh, an increase in implied volatility to benefit a calendar position. Then the next, next trade was a closing trade in XLE, that's the one I already mentioned. So we put that on, took it off two days later. Uh, booked just under 50% of max profit in just two days. So that was an excellent trade. 
Next trade was a closing trade in the QQQs. So we had a strangle on in Qs, uh, booked a little over 40% of max profit. And I mentioned if, if the Qs IV popped up again, we would, we would potentially put on another trade. If we took a look at the Qs, take a look at the chart, you can see we've got a, got a huge massive contraction in implied volatility. So not putting another strangle on or another position on in the Qs quite yet. But if it does pop, pop back up early next week, we'll definitely be looking to put another position on in the queues. Next trade and final trade was that closing vertical of, of the soybean. So we, we bought back the call side of, the, of that iron condor to completely close out that August iron condor. And as I showed, we still have that September, September iron condor in, in play. So. If we take a look back at the platform at some of our other positions, we've got this uh, vertical spread on in ES, had a nice profit in there, actually was trying to get filled when we were in the profit, when price was, uh, was, was down around this level, uh, but, but didn't get filled and price has moved back up. So now we're, now we're in a little bit of a losing position this trade only has on seven more days to expiration. So we're going to look to potentially roll this early next week. And remember the whole reason we put this on is to carry that short Delta in our portfolio. Now, when the market moves up and is strong, like it has been, of course, we're going to get hurt on that short Delta, but we still need it there for protection. So hopefully we can get a little bit of a down move early next week and either book a profit in that trade, or we'll look to roll that to extend duration and continue to keep that short delta in our portfolio. And let's see, oops, let's go back to, we've got, we've got a position on in corn. So if we take a look here, still got this iron condor, still well within our range in our corn position. I already showed soybeans. Uh, we've got a position on in wheat. So we've got a position on in all the grains, looking for a little bit more of a contraction in the wheat, but all these grains are moving around. If you look, you know, we had this huge surge up, then a little bit of a pullback. That's wheat. Same thing in soybeans, same thing in corn. So just continuing to put these positions on, take them off just as needed. And they've been really good trading vehicles for us recently. DIA, we had a uh, iron condor in and we took off the untested side and it's continued to move higher. We've kept this on just because again, we, we want that short Delta in our portfolio relative to everything else. So early next week, we'll look to roll or if, it, if we do get a down move, we'll look to book this profit uh, if, it, if it moves down into the kind of the 210 range right in there. I mentioned RUT, we've got that calendar. SPY, we've still got a, an iron condor on in SPY. Still well within our range, need a little bit of a down move there. XOP, we've got this straddle, and you can see prices hanging out right, right on our upside of that. So we need a little bit of down move in oil, down move in XOP to benefit that position. And XRT, I, I was trying to get filled on this today. We're at about a little over 30% of max profit in a very short period of time. Not getting filled, so I'm gonna hold this one over the weekend and hopefully get a little bit more juice out of that, but look to take that XRT position off early next week, assuming there's not a, not a major move in retail over the weekend. If we go back to the, uh, back to the members area, I wanna show some of the closed trades. So these are all the closed trades that we keep track of now. In the queues, we booked a profit of 210 bucks. In those XLE short puts, 168. In the RUT calendar, made $191. And then going back to last week, you can see oil, look at that profit of 600. So doing, doing really well in the month of July. Haven't, haven't closed a loser. Obviously, if we, um, if we got to close out one for a loser, that's all going to be shown here. All winners, all losers are shown here so that you know exactly what we're doing in the portfolio. And then uh, we've also got this current portfolio and this just shows our open positions. So already gone over those on the platform. So I hope that was helpful. Everybody have a great weekend. Hopefully we get a little bit of downside movement in the market next week. 
give us a pop in implied volatility. It's always more interesting when we can play in the high implied volatility uh, environment. So have a good weekend. Talk to you later.